Floss Tube World. Welcome to my channel for a Floss Tube Extra, which is going to be an unboxing of uh, Summer in Stars Hollow, which is the Black Needle Society's Gilmore Girls series of retreat inner boxes. Um, we recently participated in the Summer, which is the second retreat in a box um, event, which was over the last weekend of June. Um, so I have my box here to show you, which has been opened only just to get some stuff out of here that doesn't relate to the box itself. Um, I didn't get the box before the retreat started. I did end up getting it uh, only yesterday. Um, it did return back to sender to Katie and Laura in the US, uh, which was U UPS's fault. But um, they posted it. Monday US time, which would have been Tuesday. Um, so I think a four day turnaround to get this box is pretty impressive. So I'm glad that I got it when I did. Um, let's hope maybe next year UPS and everyone have their, their stuff sorted and maybe I can get the box before the retreat um, for the second, second ones. Um, but yeah, I am going to get into unboxing this one. Um, I'll go through everything that's in here. I have pulled one thing from last year as well, um, just to go through that because I'm pretty sure um, it relates throughout the whole four years. It's the uh, cooking folder recipe thing. Um, and I've also been working on the pattern, which I haven't finished. So I will show you that as well. Um, but let's get into it. So firstly, this is how the box comes. Um, it says Stitchy Magic packed up just for you. Um, and and oh, also it's got the, like, the Black Needle Society um, logo and the scissors all around. Um, so... Should have been wearing my um Luke t-shirt. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, so it comes with a um pamphlet brochure thing. Um on the inside it tells you all about um what is included in the box, who's made it, um, and a little bit of info on it. Um there's also a little um little Hello Society stitches from Katie, Laura, and Athena. And then on the back is a set of uh, photo challenges for social media. So, um, oh, hey, mine's in there from last year. Oh, no, you're not going to be able to see it. It's not going to focus. That's me. How cool. Okay, so let's go i'm just gonna go with what i pull out from the box and we'll go through um the corresponding thing i'm not going to go in any particular order um but to start off with if this focuses this is the summer um pattern so very bright and vibrant you've got the lazy hazy crazy days of summer singers um a guitar here for the town troubadours Lorelai's jeep the traffic light um if it focuses again uh miss patty's thousand yellow daisies so and the ice cream queen how can we forget um so it's very very bright and vibrant um i don't know if you can see very well here but it actually does um attach to the autumn in stars hollow chart and i will show you i haven't actually stitched the um what do you call that? The rotunda, the, I don't know, the thing, the town center thingy. Um, I haven't actually stitched it in the summer chart, but I'll show you how it all works together. Um, okay. First up, we have Hey There, which is the soap range that Kirk brings out. Um, and this is Kirk's Hey There body wash made by Wick Wish Candle Co. Kirk here is about to tell us the difference between cows and humans. It's the next great skincare product to sweep the nation because cows don't wrinkle, right? Made exclusively for summer's in stars, summer in stars hollow stitches. Um, so that blue spruce juniper pine warm vanilla musk. That's so cool. Very clever, very clever. Okay, 
So these are the recipe cards. I'm not going to open every single one of them because there's a few. Um, I will read when I can find them. Eat Like a Gilmore recipe cards designed by Heather Gretton Art. Um, the second set of seasonally inspired recipe cards. This summer set includes six recipes from the show to help while planning your retreat snacks. So this is the folder that came in the retreat in a box from last year. Um, and it came with um, the little pockets um, for them. So you can get two, sorry, you can get two per um, folder, oh, sorry, per sleeve. So there's plenty more for the rest of this, the um, series. And so they go in here. Um, that one is Desert Dessert Sushi. Fruit roller, rice crispy treats, Swedish fish. I don't know what half of these things are. Marshmallow fluff, Tootsie Roll, Twizzlers, yuck. <laughs> Personal opinion. Oreos, Red Hot, Butterfinger, Junior, junior Mint, and Jujubes. I don't know what half of those ingredients are. But I'll make those. I actually haven't made any of these recipes yet. I kind of put it away and forgot about it. But um, someone was talking about the drinks because there are drinks in here um, from last year. And I think I need to pull them out and actually try. Um, I think it's called the Rory. Uh, try a couple of the drinks. So I'm going to keep that out once I put these in there and then um, give one a go. Okay. Okay. Reality has absolutely no place in our world. So this is obviously a thread keep, thread holder, thread sorter. Okay. Made by Nerdy Needle Design Co. Uh, this says, I may have given her the itinerary, but you're the one who got us busted for drug smuggling. Perfect for smuggling threads for your next stitch. That's so cool. So that's 20, uh, 20 colors that you can hold. I actually don't own anything like this. So that's very, very cool to have. Love it. Um, ice cream queen. So it looks like this on the front and that on the back. Ice cream queen scissor sheath. I think is how you say it. Uh, designed by the Black Needle Society. Congratulations, you're the ice cream queen. Oh no, did Taylor not ask you? Do you have time in your busy schedule? The skydiver does. Well, at least you get this cute scissor sheath to commemorate the day and a free extra cherry on your ice cream sundaes to how with the extra 25 cent charge. That's great. That's very good. I don't have anything to hold my scissors, so wonderful. Much appreciated. Kirk's sticker. This is Kirk's vinyl decal sticker. Designed by the Black Needle Society. Luke's may be shut down temporarily for window repairs, but this cute little open air diner just opened up in the town square. We snagged this branded sticker for you while we ordered some breakfast. That's great. I, um, I hoard stickers. I don't really know where to put stickers a lot of the time. Um, I'm trying to build up a little like stitching sticker collection. So it'll be really handy to figure out where to put this, but love it. So we have some fabric. Stars Hollow Blend R&R &R Reproductions. And this is a 32 count linen. Uh, hand dyed with coffee straight from Luke Steiner. If you're a fabric sniffer, you can even smell the delicious Stars Hollow coffee blend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, I don't love the, um, the smell of not fresh coffee. It reminds me of every time I've spilled coffee on my clothes and then I smell it like hours later, but that's okay. I um, might fold it over. Ooh. Quite a nice neutral color, which I love and I need because I don't really have very many neutrals. So that's beautiful. And I've never stitched with anything from R&R &R Reproductions. So that's what I like about these boxes. I get to try other designers and or like um, makers and suppliers and small businesses. So can't wait to figure out what to put on that. 
Next up is a headband, which says thousand yellow daisies all around it. Sorry for the crinkling. That is so pretty. And now it makes sense why I saw so many people wearing, uh, I couldn't actually see like the, the decal on it, but um, I saw a few people wearing a headband and one of the colors, sorry, one of the days um, like themes uh, said to wear something with yellow. So a few people were wearing these. So now it makes sense. Um, but this is a thousand yellow daisies headband made by Fable Bands. Um, and it says, it should be magical. There should be music playing and romantic lighting. We propose you wear this headband for your next special occasion, perhaps a cross stitch retreat. A thousand yellow daisies. I love that. I love that so much. Um, I've got two big things. Go with this one. Oh my God, it's a project bag. <laughs> And something else in it. Are they related? Sorry. No, they're not. Okay. All right. We'll go with the project bag first. So this is the, and again, sorry for the crinkling. This is the back. And this is the front. Move the box out of the way. And this is the quote of the song that they sing. Roll out those lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer, those days of soda and pretzels and beer. That is huge. I love this. I don't have very many vinyl front project bags. This is, before I forget, um, lazy, hazy, crazy project bag designed by Kitster Kronk hope that's said correctly. Uh, we're still singing this song in our heads. Keep a cute summer project inside for a lazy, hazy, crazy day. Well, it's winter, so I'm not going to keep a summer pattern in there, but I'm going to use this to keep all of my Stars Hollow things in for now. That's amazing. It's huge. That would have to be my favorite piece so far. And then this fell out of it, which is a little Luke and Lorelei. Oh, there we go. And this is, you made me a hopper scissor fob. And I've butchered that, but I'm saying it the way that I remember it from the TV show. Uh, so this is designed by the Black Needle Society. And it says, it's got carvings, birds and flowers. Yeah, there's also a goat. We couldn't forget the goat. It actually has a goat. Uh, I don't think you're ever going to be able to see it on here or focus enough. Uh, nah, there's a goat in the gold over here on the side. That's amazing. I love that. Both of these things are bringing, actually, all three of these items are like bringing back the best memories and the best one-liners and the best vibes and feelings. I love it. Okay, there's two more big things. I'm just gonna take everything out. No, there's one more big thing and two little things. And I think that's everything. Okay, this is, we doing very good. This is what we have left. So this is uh, a Retreat in a Box Exclusive Needle Minder get it open I'm actually using last year's needle minder on this one <laughs> this says official stars hollow troubadour if I there we go there we go and this is created by the black needle society uh, we've made it official. You're the new Stars Hollow Town Troubadour. Show off your new title with this exclusive needle minder. That's so good. Is this made on the Glow Forge, Katie? Is it? Oh, it's so sturdy. Just one more time. Well, I'm not going to pack that away. That can go on the project when I show you. 
And then we have the exclusive floss. So again, it's in an Owl's Pancake World, sorry, an Owl's Pancake World uh, package. Uh, again, made by Colouring Cotton. So last year we got five, four or five exclusive colours and they were all based around uh, like Chilton, Winter, um, like blues and greys, which really did go with the theme, um, especially because we had Rory's dress in the, um, in the pattern. So you never know what you'll get from ours. We asked Angela to dream up colors inspired by some of her favorite summer Gilmore-isms. Okay, so there's five here. Ooh, that's a very pretty color. Okay, so we have I Love You, You Idiot, which is a very nice variegated like teal green, I guess. Love Rocket, which is a variegated blue gray. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to get out my mug, that there's blue in that, like a very, very silvery kind of color, silvery blue. Ice Cream Queen, yum, looks like bubble gum. Reminds me of um, uh, Paddle Pops, Rainbow Paddle Pops with the yellow and the pink and the blue. Now I'm on a paddle pop, even though it's winter. Fruits de la Terre. That's a beautiful color. Um, so very pink and purple. Fuchsia will go. And then Mum Touched the Pope. So shades of red. And they are all eight yards, six strands, eight yards. Very pretty, very, very pretty. And then I have one more thing to open, which I've seen the spoiler for this one, and it's a Luke Steiner mug. You can never have too many Luke Steiner mugs. This is amazing. Ooh. That quality. I actually got given, sorry, hang on. That's a different story. This Luke Steiner mug designed by the Black Needle Society. We couldn't resist sending this classic stars holy keepsake this summer to help keep you caffeinated during the, the retreat. I definitely would have loved to use this during re the retreat because anytime I was participating, it was either past midnight or it was first thing in the morning. Um, so I was very tired and very, very well caffeinated. I did actually get given a Luke's Diner mug many years ago. I'm talking probably 10 years ago. Um, a friend got it for me off Etsy and I think, I don't think Etsy was as big as it is now. Um, and so the Luke's symbol was actually, um, pen and I still lived at home and I think my mum or my sister put it through the dishwasher and it's lost all but like this little bit of yellow coloring on the Luke's cup. So you don't even know anymore that it's a Luke's Diner mug. So I love this so much. And then lastly, I'll put that away for safekeeping, pack it all up later, is my progress on the chart. So here is both of them together. So I finished uh, autumn last year. And I have jumped into uh, summer right next to it. I am doing all four in a row rather than four individual um, scenes. So as you can see in the middle where the gazebo, gazebo, that's the word I was looking for before. Um, you can see where the gazebo meets between autumn and summer. I have a very, very, very funny feeling that the guitar is going to meet for spring. Um, no idea what's going to be over here for winter. That's winter. Yeah. Summer, auto, winter. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So I only, I started this the night before the retreat officially started. And then I primarily only stitched on this during the weekend. Um, I could only really get on three stitching challenges a day. Um, but I managed to get about 32% complete, I believe. 
I'm currently working on the white, which is uh, in the guitar strings all the way up to the top. Um, and I'm working on filling in all of the uh, motifs color by color. And then I'll do the, the solid background, um, which are some very bright and vibrant um, over dyed threads. So um, that way I can just fill in rather than, than really work out and count and it'll become quite mindless so um yeah this is being stitched on i forgot to say a 40 count um antique white newcastle linen uh one strand of thread over two squares of fabric so um i just didn't really want to make it too big uh, especially as I wasn't sure just how big the whole piece would be with all four, um, but love stitching on it. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, oh, so the next one is going to be spring. Katie has said that it is spring. It's going to be held in um, America's spring. So it will be this section of the chart. Um, and I believe it goes on sale in October and the retreat will be the last weekend of, I think she said April. I'm fairly confident it was April. So I'm very excited about that one. I think that there have been a few little, like not spoilers, but like little hints on what could be in the next chart, but I wasn't in any of those chats. So I don't actually know what else is going to be there, which is fine with me because I love the, the little element of surprise. Um, so yeah, that's all for me. I will see you probably for another one of these unboxings next year. Otherwise I plan on now filming a floss tube, um, to pop up for my mid year whip parade. So He's hoping that that's up relatively soon by the time that you're viewing this and you can stay around and watch. If not, have a good day. Happy stitching and thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.